Welcome back. It is 625 on this Thursday morning. Joining us now, we have Belinda Waters with Covenant Children's. Thank you for being with us this morning. Uh, we have her here to talk about something very important. That is, of course, stopping child abuse, stopping it here in our community um, because it is a real problem. A lot of people think that's not the case, but it is. Yes. Tell us about uh, this conference you guys have coming up. So uh, a lot of people don't realize the prevalence of it. We're um, second in the state as far as prevalence of child abuse. <clears throat> Excuse me, almost 15 children per 1,000 in Lubbock County um, are confirmed to have child abuse, or that was the 2018 statistics. So we're doing a conference. We want to um, obviously do education for our uh, medical people, mm -hmm. uh, law enforcement, but also for the public. So this is our seventh annual conference. Uh, we do it in conjunction with the South Plains Coalition for Child Abuse Prevention. Mm -hmm. And it's a two day conference. This is the second year we've done two days. The first day is geared more towards um, healthcare providers uh, nurses, EMS, but then law enforcement, CPS. And the second day is a little bit more towards child caregivers, so okay. teachers. Um, but a lot of people will be attending um, both com both days. And uh, so it, we just want to get more awareness of the prevalence of child abuse in our region and then also um, do more education on how to recognize it. Our goal is to eventually be able to prevent it. That's the only way we can stop child abuse is mm -hmm. do, working on that prevention part. Yes, and that's one of the things. I mean, these are, they're so young. Uh, they don't know how to speak out. They don't know what to say. They don't know if what's being done is normal or not. Um, so this is really an opportunity to um, let people know what maybe those signs are and what to do. So what are some things they'll be learning there at the conference? So <clears throat> just a few things. For, on the first day, it's going to be interesting. We're going to kind of do a case, kind of the way it would uh, occur. We're mm -hmm. doing recognizing signs and symptoms. Dr. Patty Patterson, who is our child abuse expert for this region, will be doing that. And then we're going to go through, um, like in the ER, how do you collect evidence? Mm -hmm. uh, then we're going to go through the police and how they do their investigation. It's Sunshine Stanick is going to be doing mm -hmm. prosecution. And then we will also have uh, Dr. Sarah Wakefield, who's going to be talking about recovery as far as the mental health for children okay. um, because it is a very long term, has a lot of long term effects. A lot of people don't realize that children with abusive head trauma, a lot of them even have strokes. And so they may have a long term, they may never regain function of their arm and their leg on one side. So that's only a, a part of the physical part, but then mm -hmm. also there's that mental part. Um, so that's some of the things that we're going to be doing. But again, recognizing those signs and symptoms is one of the really big things. All right. And you see this firsthand. Yes. Um, talk to our community <clears throat> listening right now about really how big of a problem it is. Like I said, it is uh, in uh, the state in Lubbock County in 2018, we had uh, 1,126 confirmed cases of abuse or, or neglect. That's approximately 14 to 15 children per 1,000 children in our community that are being abused. So that's a, that's a large number. Um, we had one death that was in Lubbock County. Um, now that is a resident of Lubbock County. We had four deaths at our hospital last year in 2018. Um, of course, we get patients in from sure. all over the region. But uh, um, it, it is so prevalent and it is something that, um, and, and sometimes it's a varying degree of how much abuse, mm -hmm. but uh, we do see a lot of critical children also all with right. abuse. All right, now people are gonna wanna sign up for this uh, conference. How can they do that and what are kind of the prices and dates and times? So the dates are, April 5th and 6th. So it'll be next Friday and Saturday. Um, the, it is a, comp, a child abuse conference on Eventbrite. Okay. And uh, so there's, I think we've got a link already mm -hmm. uh, ready for it. And uh, um, the cost is $30 per day or okay. $50 if you want to attend both days. All right. And of course, all this information will be on our website at everythinglubbock.com. Blue is the color for Child Abuse Awareness Month, which is going to be here in a few days once April gets started. Right. So. Blue stands for bruises, that if you recognize okay. bruises, we, we usually say um, more than four bruises is kind of a indicative of possible abuse. Of course, if they're learning to walk. You know, they may have many, sure. multiple bruises <laughs> on the knees. Um, on the forehead, on the chin, but they shouldn't have any on like head, ears, neck, or their actual body, the torso is what we call it. Um, so that's why bl blue is the color that we use. And we're also gonna be giving you one of these bracelets. Perfect. We Thank give you. out about a thousand of those okay. um, each year. And that's just to, again, bring out that awareness so that people will at least have it in mind. All right, thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. And again, all this information on our website,